Hey, thanks for joining me today on Just Cook with Michael. Today, we're gonna to make a simple keto tilapia dish. So the ingredients for today's dish are some tilapia, some avocado, cheese. You want a cheese that's a nice meltable cheese. Traditionally, this dish a lot, a lot of times uses a Monterey Jack, so you can use like a Jack, a provolone, a mozzarella, something like that. Uh, I have some fresh salsa that we're gonna put over the top, sauteing the fish in extra virgin olive oil a good mono and saturated fat, and salting the fish with a little kosher salt. So this is a really healthy choice if you're on keto or low carb. So we'll start off by seasoning our dish. Uh, you know, all salt comes from the sea, whether it's Himalayan salt, sea salt, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call the type of salt, a lot of them are in vogue now. They all come from the sea. Sometimes, you know, there are seas that are millions of years old, so they're having to mine them out of mountains, but it's all sea salt. One reason a lot of people like kosher salt, a lot of chefs choose it, is just the feel of it. You know, so if you're salting with your fingers, you, you get a good sense of how much you're putting on. And also, texture-wise, you can kind of see it a little better too on the fish to get an idea of, you know, how much is sticking to it. If you're just putting salt in boiling water, you know, you could use regular granulated salt. So here we go, just salt the fish a little bit, both sides. I'm doing this really simple, so this is just this is literally like a five minute dish. You know, you could get a little more fancy and marinate it like in some, maybe a little bit of lime juice, cilantro, a little bit of garlic, stuff like that. But this is just gonna be a really quick, simple preparation. A lot of times nowadays, that's what we need. Something we could put together in five minutes. That's another great thing about fish. Cook so fast, you know, it's one of the proteins out there that cooks incredibly fast. So the fish is salted, I'll set that aside. All right, the next step is to Fan out the avocado. This is if you want the presentation to be a little nicer. When I'm making this at home for myself, I just slice it up pretty quickly. But again, to, to fan an avocado, you want to retain that first, you know, half inch without really cutting into it. And you want to cut in at a 45 degree angle. So just go right through it. But again, maintain that, you know, that thumb thumb width over there. I'm not cutting into. And each slice is anywhere from about a quarter inch. This is a softer avocado. The firmer your avocado, the thinner you could go with the slices. And that is it, and I have my cleaver. I'll put that on a plate for later. Also like to remember this avocado didn't have any seasoning, so I'll sprinkle a little salt on there. Okay, it's been about three minutes on one side. Nice golden color. Should be about another three minutes on this side and we'll be done. Okay, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna cut into this. I don't think it's done yet, but we'll check. It, it's close, but it's not, it probably only has another minute. So now I'll put the cheese on top. Should only be about another minute. At this point, you could like take this off and put it in a toaster oven on broil. And you're, if you're doing a, like a lot of these on a sheet pan, you could put the cheese, then throw it in the oven and let the cheese melt on top. Here, I'm just gonna put a pan over this. Since I'm just cooking one, that'll make kind of like an oven in there to melt my cheese. All right, that is done, looks great. All right, we have our finished dish. Prep time was about five minutes. Cook time is about six minutes. Super simple, delicious, and healthy. Now go out and cook for someone you love. And if you like these videos, please subscribe below.